with a 5D Mark II offers me possibilities to do things that I would not have been able to do before and that's why I think it's pretty exciting to be able to hold one in your hand and say, wow, dream of the possibility. How long have you been doing this? I mean, you founded this place, and uh, uh, tell me something about that. We rehabilitate birds that are brought in. This year was over 6,000, and we fix their injuries or bring them back to health if they're sick or if their babies raise them until they have the ability to hunt on their own and find food, and then we release them back into the wild. video capabilities on it is that it does provide me with opportunities to shoot things I could never shoot. One thing that I love about uh, shooting video with this is that the shallow depth of field that I have eliminates the bars. I can pull back, I can show the bars, I can focus in on the bird. Um, there's no way I can do that on a normal video camera because of the depth of field. It's amazing. 1920 by 1080 HD on a 35 millimeter DSLR. That's huge. But when you combine that with a 21 megapixel still image, it, it led to this place where I'm thinking every image I shoot is amazing. It's not enough to establish a wide shot of the bucket. I could cut in some tight shots, but how much better to come in here now and photograph what she's doing. When I'm using video, video camcorders, I prefer using the LCD screen. I know some people use the eyepiece, but I prefer an LCD screen. So this comes real natural to me when I'm shooting video, because I'm used to seeing it this way. But I'm also finding that I'm enjoying shooting still photographs with the live view as well. Just a wonderful way to look at an image because there it is and you can almost you can see it furthermore i like the fact that i can watch the image play out as i'm shooting so it's a perfect thing but the, what's really great is being able to shoot an image while in live view without exiting live view. the peripheral illumination correction in this camera is great for situations where you're facing a sky or a or a, a light object. Or, and you notice when you're using wide-angle lenses, sometimes you'll get this vignetting. And when you turn this on, it takes care of it. Your work has just begun when you get back and you start editing. So you have to start with uh, good photography, and then really solid editing. In many ways, you also are creating that moment by looking at it by the series of events that you place and juxtapose with one another in this montage of things uh, in a timeline that actually becomes likened unto a photograph. I see this as building a photograph. I'm putting together that photograph or that photo essay it becomes one thing in the end, a video. It becomes a story, a film, a documentary, whatever we want to call it. What it does, it does something so unique, so different, that it begs people to find their creative spirit, find that creative power, to find new ways to use this in a way that really makes a difference. And that's what I think is going to happen. 
I honestly believe that this camera holds the potential of creating a new genre and creating video.